Are we experiencing a great awakening? An election 2020 is not about left versus right. We have staggering statistical evidence. We have staggering testimony from witnesses. It's about good versus evil. Uh, are you an expert in voter fraud? No, I'm not. We're living now in an information age. We relied heavily on the FBI's uh, intelligence. Information is the new weapon. The media first began spreading this conspiracy theory. They're creating an illusion through the media. Don't be ridiculous. Networks don't get to decide elections. It's, there's corruption on both sides. Courts do. Again, why elections matter. I think it gives the president an opportunity to dive into those agencies. You're aware of the White House meeting where, where the notes show that Vice President Biden at the time directly suggested using the Logan Act to go after General Flynn. Take out those people that don't have the best interests of this country in mind. We have put together the most extensive and inclusive voter fraud organization in the history of American politics. And I am going to expose every one of them. Is a coup against this great awakening being played out? This is about our national security. Through methods of media manipulation. And this is about our, our constitutional right. False flag events. The digital soldier movement needs to keep up the fight. Funding of violent insurgents. You're allowed to protest millions of people on one day in crowds yelling, screaming, but you try to run your business, you get arrested. And the targeting of revolutionary leaders. And it's going to be war. Do you understand me? I'm a warrior. I'm a sniper in the kingdom of God. Human trafficking has many more victims than COVID. Mr. Secretary, is it policy of the U.S. government to reward companies that traffic in women and little girls? Wall Street has laundered $100 trillion from trafficking in children and uh, drugs and guns and gold. Which as a former Los Angeles police narcotics detective that the agency has dealt drugs throughout this country for a long time. <laughs> only do we need to realize the complicity of the CIA, the FBI, the Justice Department, stacking even of our Supreme Court. These agencies are facing a time of reckoning. People have got to break free and start thinking for themselves. Are we at yet another crossroads between the demise and undoing of our republic for its revitalization and rebirth? I'm going to release the Kraken. I'll splinter the CIA into a thousand pieces and scatter it to the wind.